The first tip is understanding what a course is when you're building your e-learning course. So when you, especially when you take a lot of classroom type content, you know, I've worked on projects where the subject matter expert gives me something like 400 slides worth of stuff and a bunch of Word docs, and they're willing to trim it down to like 398 slides. <laughs> right? So, you know, the, there's a big difference between what you have on paper and what you do in a classroom because how you interact in the class and all that type of stuff is different than what you're doing online. So when you build a course, essentially you gotta figure out, you know, this is kind of basic, but you're, you're at some place today and you wanna go somewhere tomorrow, right? They're taking the course and what's the change? What's, what, what's the course about? What are they supposed to do? You know, why are they taking this course? And so that's kind of uh, how you, you, you think about your course. So what do you want them to do? And then how do you know they got there, right? So a lot of times people will ask me, how do I measure the effectiveness of my course? Well, it all starts with having clear objectives. So if you have clear objectives, you know, what is a course supposed to do? Why are they taking this course? And then from that is, you know, the basis for your assessment or how do you assess their understanding of the content, or how you assess that they actually met uh, the goals of the course. So when you start to build out your e-learning course, um, one of the things you want to think about is one of the key points I've been focusing on a lot in these workshops is being intentional about everything you do. So you don't just have content that was effective in your classroom environment and just convert it, but it's really got to step back. Don't worry about your content. Figure out what your objectives are for the course. What are they supposed to get out of it? What is it supposed to be able to do? I, I, ideally, there's some action tied to it. You know, you're giving them this course. They're exposed to this information. What are they supposed to do with it? Why, why is this information important? What do you, you know, why are you giving it to them? What are they supposed to do with it? And once you've identified that, then you can uh, build your assessment around that because now you figure, well, how do I know they met that objective. So and then you want to start figuring out the metrics as well. You can figure your metrics out or the success of your course. If you know that your goals are clear, then you know, you know, like they need to increase sales by 10%. Um, and you know, training plays a large, a small part in that probably. It's not everything, you know, that would increase sales. But maybe they're learning a system and being able to do something in the system is the objective in the course, right? So you need increased sales. Part of increasing sales is understanding how to use some sort of sales system. So your objective is kind of that they're proficient with the system, you identify what that is, and then you assess them based on what you've identified as your objective. That's all kind of basic, but I bring that out because a lot of times I look at courses that people will ask me to review, and that's not very clear in the course. And so it's like, it, I would probably say the majority of the courses, probably like 70% of the courses that I see, the objective seems to be to give them information, but there's no real objective outside of here's information. And we're, we're a very information-driven uh, culture when it comes to um, learning. You know, I think people email me about how can I learn something. And one of my first things is, hey, there's a good book, and so I recommend a book. As if somehow reading the book, which isn't, you know, the book's gonna be good, but reading the book or getting the information somehow is gonna mean that they've learned, right? So we do the same thing. A lot of classrooms, it's just always information. The workshop, a lot of information, right? Um, so the information's good, but we always seem to be focused initially on this information, just pushing information out, pushing information out. And so sometimes the objectives aren't very clear when you're just pushing information out. Because in that case, your success is that you push the information out. So the success for a lot of people is, I've, is to build a course, and I get the course online. So at the end of the year, if you were evaluating, if you were successful, your success is measured by the fact that you have a course online, rather than that the learner's able to do something uh, with the course.